Pat, it's it's funny. Um, you and I both control the Chirons. <laughs> I know. Every once in a while, it seems that you and I go off the rails and we cannot get at the same time. So, you know, let's start at the high level. You know, this goes back to a decade ago when uh, Sun Microsystems um, was acquired by Oracle, which was MySQL. Um, since then, you know, Oracle's kept MySQL relatively distinct. Uh, about 15 months ago, Oracle released what's called MySQL Heatwave. Um, and it's basically the company's own uh, optimized implementation of MySQL running on Oracle's OCI infrastructure. And for those of you not familiar, Pat and I have talked a lot about uh, a very bullish sentiment on Oracle Cloud. This is MySQL running on Oracle's public cloud platform. Um, and basically what happened this week is a third release of Heatwave, uh, scaling up node size, reducing costs uh, for certain workloads, um, in, and introducing probably what was most notable here, and that is the in-database machine learning. Um, our team is currently in the process of, of, of a research a brief that is gonna come out on this. And so, you know, I had the chance to kind of review, break it down, and here's kind of what I think is most interesting about this particular iteration of the MySQL uh, launch and moving into ML. Um, first of all, they've added its native support for machine learning. It's full automation. Uh, it takes advantage of the autonomous database and technologies that Oracle has been pushing very aggressively. Um, it's explainable AI, which is becoming an increasingly important topic right now as uh, we're looking for more transparency. So all models in Heatwave ML are going to be explainable. Um, they're differentiated, therefore, as well. Uh, but also probably what's going to be most attractive about it is the improved performance, um, the quality, repeatability of the explanations, and, of course, some of the scaling. So you have things like scaling with cluster size, real-time elasticity, um, more data per node. So these were kind of some of the breakdowns that our team identified as, as key differentiators. Um, you know, as we, we went through, by the way, Oracle did a bunch of benchmarking. So I'm going to comment on their benchmarking just a little bit, but I also want to be very clear that that commenting put Oracle clearly ahead of uh, com competitors, uh, Amazon, Google, um, and others in this space. Having said that, these are benchmarks that require um, could uh, opportunistically be challenged by the other uh, companies, Pat. But at this point, and you got to wonder, because by the way, in the second release of Heatwave, there was also some very strong benchmarking that was released. And none of the competitors have stepped up and done any benchmarking or done any, um, have, have, a, have kind of, uh, what is it, publicly debated these strong numbers. So you got to wonder if the if if uh, Redshift or if BigQuery felt that they were able to outperform and it was going to be clearly measurable. You'd think they would have done those benchmark tests and put those into the market, and and they haven't. Um, you know, as we sort of assessed the conclusions and recommendations, um, you know, we basically found that across the the, the cloud DB market that um, you know the value was pretty tremendous. Uh, the price value for the technology. Um, you know, they had a hard to beat feature set, auto ML, scalability, real time elasticity, uh, the amount of data per node, the, and the overall the portfolio wide enhancements that they were able to do. But more so than anything, Pat, it was the price performance that we really walked away from. Um, we also found that, uh, you know, the benchmarks demonstrated clear outperformance at this current time against Redshift, Snowflake, Synapse, and BigQuery. Uh, all of them, according to the data that we were able to review, uh, were both more expensive and neither and none of them had the same level of performance, which, you know, we think believes uh, warrants that the companies that are in review cycles right now probably need to spend some time evaluating what Heatwave is offering. Um, and by the way, very strong. I mean, this is almost a, you know, Oracle's always been a database company, Pat, but this is one of those things that's truly showing how they're taking their infrastructure and their database, uh, the legacy and, and, and engineering prowess they've had in database for a long time and putting it together to offer a significant differentiation in market, layering in autonomous database capabilities, competing uh, at scale against major public cloud players and finding something that's differentiated. Um, so a very good release, Pat. Um, and uh, some pretty impressive numbers. Good analysis there, Daniel, uh, by the team. Uh, our um, 
our analyst uh, Matt Kimball uh, wrote a uh, wrote a note as well that I'll put in the uh, in the show notes. And essentially, <clears throat> this is so you know heat heat wave heat waves incredible performance has a lot to do. That's all all in memory, right? Where other solutions are uh, spooling out uh, back and forth to uh, back and forth to, to disk. So architecturally, that that gives heat wave. Uh, a big advantage on performance pr pretty much versus anything <laughs> that, that touches the disc. So uh, that doesn't surprise me. And like you said, um, I didn't see Oracle Heatwave competitors saying that these benchmarks were wrong uh, either. So I think they I think they know. And this this next step, this was the first update in I think 15 months added machine learning in the database at no extra cost. So um, even though Oracle is a premium uh, provider, uh, then being able to essentially, you know, uh, commoditize a machine learning is, is, is pretty fun. And whether that's, you know, with, with auto ML, which is, is key. And that's, that doesn't mean that it's just magic and you don't have to, to do anything, but auto ML makes ML a heck of a lot easier. You don't have to be necessarily a, a data science to, uh, to, to have, uh, to have it happen. So, you know, heatwave ML not only is it higher performance in because you know you actually have the machine learning inference in in the database, uh, but it's also uh, basically free. So uh, once again, an architecture play on something that I think is 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 pretty important. And you know, if I, I love the idea of a premium vendor like Oracle uh, commoditizing. Uh, ML, and I know exactly who <laughs> who this is targeted at. It's it's a hundred percent targeted at at uh, at Redshift, and uh, and how you architect uh, Redshift and get machine learning uh, out of that. So, check out the reports from uh, both of our companies if you want uh, some of the uh, gory gory details. <laughs>